Uh, we are going to use strand 7 to uh, solve uh, an example of a cantilever beam uh, fixed it le on the left side and loaded with a point force of 10 kN on another. Uh, the beam is 1.2 meters long and has a cross section of 50 millimeters by 100 millimeters and it is made of steel with Young's modulus of 200 kN per millimeter squared and Poisson's ratio is 0.25. We shall, um, f in the first example, we shall model the beam using uh, beam elements. Uh, so uh, we will start by setting the units, uh, which are millimeters, kilonewtons, and megapascals. Uh, we shall uh, first create the nodes. Uh, sorry, we shall uh, do the first uh, to um, apply the freedom case that the structure is a 2D beam. So we click on the freedom cases, load and freedom cases, freedom cases, 2D beam. And this makes all these displacements equal to zero. Next, we can create nodes. The first node will be at the origin at zero, zero. And the second node uh, will be at a distance of 1200. We can now uh, redraw. And these are the two nodes created. Uh, now we can uh, specify the beam property. And uh, for the material, we can uh, set steel, or we can just enter the value of the Young's modulus, but this way it is easier. So it's 200,000 megapascal and 0.25. Uh, next is to specify geometry. And the geometry of the beam, edit, is the solid rectangle with a width of 50. And... Um, height of 100 millimeters. Now we can uh, create the element. We are creating element which is beam 2 element which we have uh, created for which we have a, we are using beam property 1 and just by clicking on the two nodes we create the first beam. Uh, the next step will be to fix the left node, so node restrained, and we can just click fix and fix this node and click apply. Finally, we need to apply the force attributes node force and the force is in the y direction and it's minus 10 because it's downwards it is minus then we click add a node and apply and we can close this at this point uh, I will save the file beam uh, or the case study one and I can run the solver linear static solver the solution is complete and We can now, um, as, the, as the output, we need to uh, show the vertical deflection. So I'll op click here to open the results file. And I can view the displaced 
structure by clicking here and choosing 10% and add undeformed. So this shows that the deflected shape looks fine. I'll change it back to original shape and um, I can now plot the graph of the displacement or vertical deflection along the beam. Graph, uh, quantity, node, displacement, dy. And for the position, click on the first and the last node and click OK. And this shows the graph looking like that. Uh, when we display data points, uh, it, um, we're looking at the average. So at 0, it's 0. At uh, 6, at um, the end of the beam, it's uh, 6.91. Uh, Negative because it's downwards. So 6.91 uh, millimeters. So that is the, the solution for this. Um, now we can close the results file and save this file as case study one uh, with two elements. Now we use tools, subdivide, and we subdivide this beam into two. So now we have uh, three nodes or two beams and we can uh, save this and solve it. Again <coughs> open the results file and show the graph new of dy between the first and the last node on the beam. Right, the graph looks a little bit different and the data points show that we have 2.16 at half distance and 6.91 at the end of the beam. So these values go into the table. Uh, we now close the results file and using tools subdivide uh, do it again. We don't need to change anything here. It's already subdividing by in two. So we are subdividing the existing two beams into two each. And now we have four elements. Uh, I'll just save this as case study one four and solve it. Open the results file and plot the graph again. in the exactly same way between the first and the last. Now there are five nodes and we will get the results at five locations, so at 300. Six hundred, nine hundred and so on. And lastly I will uh, subdivide again one more time into four, into two, subdivide. Uh, to select all the beams uh, you can click on this and, and click apply. Now 
save as this is now with eight elements and solve open and uh, plot the graph of displacement between first and last node and we now have nine data points showing the values that can go into the table in the workbook and that completes this exercise